Well, here at home, major developments in our investigation of an Austin dental visit where a little girl died. Austin Children's Dentistry is now suspending the dentist who worked on 14-month-old Daisy Lynn Torres. That follows an autopsy report that questions whether Daisy Lynn needed dental work at all. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller obtained the documents today that prompted the office to take action. That's right, Robert. We got that report by a forensic medical examiner. The report claims that x-rays on the day of her death showed no signs of dental disease. Now, that forensic expert also reviewed notes about Daisy Lynn from before her death in March. This outside expert writes that, quote, one can only speculate as to why any treatment was performed considering no indication of dental disease or pathology was seen. Now this week we told you about the medical examiner's findings. He believes the anesthesia for the dental procedure killed the toddler. The new report states that there was evidence of dental work done despite the forensic examiner finding no evidence of cavities or other problems. Now we spoke with Daisy Lynn's mom after her daughter's death back in March. If you remember, she told us that she was originally told her daughter had two cavities, but at the last minute heard she had six. Something that was supposed to be so quick and done and over with and and I, I can't take my baby home. And I just want answers. I want answers, I wanna know what happened. Now the lawyer for the dentist wrote in a statement to us yesterday that by the time the forensic examiner evaluated Daisy, all the evidence of dental disease had already been removed by the dentist as expected. A treating dentist always has the advantage of pre-treatment visual exams, clinical findings and x-rays on the patient, as well as knowing the patient's dental history, unlike a forensic examiner. The treating dentist in Daisy's case will present all of the evidence that justified Daisy's treatment if called on to do so. Now, the lawyer also told us just minutes ago he believes there are significant errors in the report. However, he's trying to figure out how to address those possible errors without violating federal law protecting health information. The dental office says it's uh, suspending that dentist, Michael Melanson, while the board of dental examiners investigates, and we know those investigations can take more than a year. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates.